Hey guys, Black Kid 489 here, and I'm here to do a quick tutorial, uh, I guess a continuation video for the uh, Project 64 Netplay. Now, in my last video I made for Project 64, it was the 2.1, how to play with the AQZ uh, Netplay plugin and how to set that up. And I did I did mention how you can, uh, to avoid desyncing, or at least, you know, limit, um, make that as, um, less as possible well um i told you you can pour, uh, uh, forward your ports you can go on youtube you can find a bunch of videos that will help you out for your particular router um so uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and help you out help you out with that a little bit um i don't have obviously i don't have every router i have my own version of a router but i'm pretty sure it's a, it's a similar process so we're gonna go ahead and get started with that um so for me to access my router you can do multiple things um, me, I go to my network uh, in my main folder. I click here, and then um, I click on my network infrastructure. My thing is called the. Uh, I'm talking to my my router. It's called the Captain's Internet. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, right click and view device web page. It's gonna pop up the web page for me real quick, and uh, router password. Okay. Put in your router password. I have it's been a while since like, oh snap, what did I use it as? Is it this still? Okay. <laughs> so once you log into your router, um, if I can remember correctly on what it is, it's, it's been a while, guys. Is it security? I really don't remember. It's been a while. Let's actually touch this. No, it's not that. There, okay. So, we, okay, I got it. yeah. So, what you gotta do is go uh, find your security tool, or for for if you have a Linksys smart a uh, uh, Linksys router, just go to your security tool or where it says firewall, because that's what you want to access. And for me, I go to my apps and gaming. And for you guys, it might be something different. Uh, try where if I uh, try to find a section to where it says uh, port forwarding or port range forwarding. That's what you really want. And I went I went ahead and uh, set up my port range forwarding for Project 64, and I just allowed the ports one through six thousand. Now that range from one to six thousand is literally. Uh, from what I'm understanding is um, the the amount of uh, servers that the uh, Project 64 emulator uh, is actually allowing to work. Um, anything past 6,000 might have some desyncing issues. So that's just a little tip that I I figured out for myself. But yeah, one through 6,000 you want to set it up. So to do that, just go ahead, add a new port forward range, type in you know whatever you want it to be. Um, start would be one, and the end would be 6,000. Put it for both TCP and UDP, and then find, uh, go ahead and put in your IP address for your particular computer. Now, for that to work, you just all you have to do is real, just real something, uh, real simple. Open up your CMD, uh, right click, run it as administrator, and then type in IP config. If I can spell config. And then it should be, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, it should be your IP4 address, and it should say 1.19.12. Uh, point blah 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 blah. That's your yeah, that's your IP4 address, and that's the one you want to use for, uh, to forward your ports. Then there you go, you're all set to go. Um, any questions? Uh, go ahead and leave me a comment. I'm definitely gonna be making more videos now, so uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I did just get the uh, the uh, the Dolphin Emulator 5.0 has been released, and I did get that set up, and I was I'm actually able to play Super Smash Brothers Melee online with a couple of friends. Um, so uh, if you if you want to see that tutorial, let me know in the comments below. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.